Good morning guys, welcome back. I'm slightly tired this morning. We had an epic event last night at Homation over the launch of the new Bowen Wilkins 700 series. I'm sure you saw some of the pictures on my socials. Um, what do we have today? I have the best next thing that we can do that no one else has done and you guys are going to get it here first. So what we are doing, the best budget, well budget sub mid-range sub that you can buy for money i still stand behind it the definitive dn12 so i got this brainchild the new Marantz cinema 50 that's absolutely an epic receiver um with their new four subwoofer outs um what did i have in mind i'm sure you guys guessed by the thumbnail let me pan my camera to this side and go down ta-da so guys four four of them four dn12s this is going to be absolutely crazy and epic what i want to do with this video <clears throat> is i want to go through it step by step i'm going to set them up now i'm going to bend the camera back i don't want this to be crouched over like that all the time I'm gonna set these up, I'm gonna run the cables now. So what do you need for a setup like this? So I, I've got um, two 10 meter RCA subwoofer cables to go to the back. For the front, we'll use normal cables. If you guys can't get cables to the back, you can also use something like the SVS wireless modules, which will work fine. You'll need to time align them a bit better, but you'll be able to do all of that in the Odyssey app. So I'm going to run cables, two at the back, two in the front. And on the numerous answers, we'll go step by step through the setup, how it works, where it splits the room and each section gets integrated with the speakers. Um, and no other receiver manufacturer has done this. So I'm very excited to do this. And uh, you guys will go through this journey with me, see if it's worth the money spent because for subwoofers, on cheap to get them where they need to be it's not easy so the juice needs to be worth the squeeze which i'm sure it's going to be but we might be wrong so this is how we're going to find out that is why i do this stuff guys so you guys don't need to do the trial and error um because they can be costly mistakes so again guys please like and subscribe to this channel share the videos it goes a long way for the analytics and it helps me to grow this channel even more so i can bring you guys world's firsts like this so okay so in the next video i'm not going to do the unboxing you guys saw the unboxing if you haven't just go back to the dn12 unboxing um if you want to see more on the moran cinema 50 just go back to that video it's like two videos or the previous video i can't remember just go back to that um, and then when we get to the setup on this, I'm actually going to show you guys exactly the setup. We'll go deep into the base, how you can tune this, set this up, different ways to do it. Obviously, I'm going to be going for the max. Um, it's just how I am. I always shoot for the max. Um, guys, stay tuned. Um, I'll be back with. I'll show you some of the. I'll show you some of the nitty gritties as well, so you guys can see all of it that it entails. But yeah, stay tuned for the next um, piece of this video. Next, um, I want to do a thanks to Homation for allowing me to do this. Um, without those guys, this really would not be possible. They go a long way to help me to get the stock, um, get this content out to you. So big up to them. Alan, Nick, thanks again. Guys, quickly, I want to touch on a subject. If you're going to do this, you're going to be needing long run RCAs. So you can spruce for the wire worlds and the nice cables. The problem is those cables are expensive. They're going to cost you about the same amount of money as the subwoofer itself, which I don't see the need for. 
So this is a local supplier. I'm sure all of you have your local suppliers that do RCAs. You get your cheap ones, you get your good ones. This is a quite inexpensive one, but it's still OFC copper. So this is an important thing to look for when you are doing something like this. Just trying to see. So look at the back of your packaging. You'll see OFC conductor. You know, as long as it's an OFC copper and it's a well-made cable, just, just look at the cable. See that it's a well-made cable. Um, this was not that bad. I think this was about um, 500 bucks. Um, so not that bad. Where if you go for a wire wall in this link, it's going to cost you about 8 to 10 grand. Um, so not exactly the price of the sub, but like half. So I don't think it's worth it. Um, obviously, if you're doing a higher end setup, you can go for higher cables. But you're always sort of apples of apples. You need to keep your stuff in line and see that it's actually going to work out and not be like counterproductive where it's going to cost you too much um, to do a certain thing. The wireless transmitters, um, if you had to go SVS on this, is about three and a half ish or 4,000 yards, yeah, about 4,000, which is also not bad. Um, and then if you do do the wireless transmitters from SVS, I'll post a pick, go for the tri-band. Um, problem with the dual band is that when you have more than one transmitter, they sort of interfere with each other. So the tri-band jumps around, it's a much better unit, it's about an extra grand, spruce for that one, it's worth it. Okay guys, I'm gonna start laying these cables and um, oh, another thing you'll need is even if you do wireless transmitters you need power at the back of your couches that side's easy i've got power there this side's going to be a bit of a pain so i need to make a plan there obviously the front is easy but yeah i'm going to make plans now run cables and in the next video i'll show you my location for the subwoofers stop and show you this guys you know what i love about definitive tech look how long this power cable is that they supply that's so cool they always give you these short power cables this is going to solve my problem that i need for that sub completely def tech big up to you guys again i'll show a quick as i'm opening one of the next boxes just the way they package their stuff every time i unpackage it i am surprised by how well they do it so just a quick insert on this Okay guys, I need to do a quick unboxing on these again. I just need to show you guys how insanely good the packaging and the presentation is on Definitive Technology products. Um, every time I unbox one of their products, it just reminds me of what packaging should be like. Um, opening the box. Let's just push that in there. Okay. How you greeted everything on top, your remote in the bag, your power cable, your manual. It's just done so well. And then when you take this off, how they greet you here with a little silver definitive logo on the plastic. You take that off and then inside that, you get the anti-scratch, anti-static bag. Again, with the little definitive logo. This stuff is just so top notch. And then if you go to the bottom of the sub, look how this is built, guys. You don't need the feet, um, the SVS sound pour feet. You can if you want, but these are like completely de decoupled. You have this rubber inlay, and it's not just a stick on, it's a proper inlay. How uh, everything is designed. The build quality on this stuff is just insane. I just wanted to share that with you guys again. Um, cool, on to the next. Okay guys, for being a very fragile on this day, I have got this done. I know it doesn't look um, symmetrically correct. I still need to neaten up the wires and do the placement. Um, might move that sub in. Might leave it there. Get another place for the PlayStation. But we have one left front, one right front. We have one at the back. And we have one at the back at the other side. So... Um, let's get into calibrating this all up and see how it sounds. Okay guys, so up and running. Let's go into the setup. I will be using 
the multi EQ editor app to calibrate all of this up. But for now, let's just quickly check. We go speaker layout, let's go manual, we go, go uh, LFE plus main. I want to play around with this a bit more on the new units. You can really calibrate that to perfection. Um, speaker configuration. Subwoofers, we will now change to four. Subwoofer mode, we will go directional. You got standard, they all get the same signal, or we will go directional. I feel if you're not going directional, you're sort of not using all of it to its full potential. So we will go directional, and that puts it front left, front right, front, um, rear left, rear right, the way they are. We have all the speakers set to small. Um, but the calibration, we'll go through that again. Um, I will not be able to show you what I do. Well, I, I might be. I use the app. So next video, I'm going to set up the mic and we will dig into this a bit deeper. Okay, guys, for those of you not using the app, I highly recommend the app. But not using the app, you will go through this menu. Just go through it all. Um, see what they tell you to do here again you will select how many speakers how many subs etc just follow the menu it's very self um, self-explanatory and they guide you step by step for me I use the app I'll try and show you off screen um, where is my app so it's the Odyssey multi EQ editor app and using the app let me just see if i can sit here <sighs> okay so using the app now i will create a new it goes through all the units i have select the one it will be the cinema 50. it will bump jump over there now saying that i now have control via wi-fi of the units i can do a lot more here you will select front speaker center yes around Surround so backs, top front, top rear. This is an 11 channel setup. So it's 7.4.4 now that we're going. Subwoofers for speakers, directional. Um, and now we will run normally. Now, first thing, it will do the subs. Let's see. And we'll have, it will ask me to level match them. Yeah, and Siri wants to do it again, and <laughs> doubt she can level match. Let's see. I'm not sure I understand. Okay, there goes sub one. I don't know. We just need the sub to kick in, just power on. Okay, let's cancel this and go again. Because they wouldn't power on, go back, uh, um, cancel. Okay, let's just start this again. Make sure that your subs are powered on so when that signal comes through, you can just rock and roll. Not like I did now. Let's go next, 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 next. Here we go. Get a signal from the rear sub. Or maybe the volume was just low. So okay, so now it's asking me to level match the subs. So as you can see now, it's a bit high. And actually it's okay there. So it's notching between high and low. I might just notch it off like two points. go I just notched it down to 28 now we stable so we'll go next sub that one is a bit low so now we're going to notch that back up
funny enough, 28 seems to be the same number. Just gonna put this EQ to loud as well. That one's also on loud. So there we go, so that's level matched. We'll go next. That's very soft, so we're gonna level match the real one. It's looking like 28 is the golden number on all of them. So that's level matched as well. We go next. Okay, now we do the loss sub. Change the EQ to the same one again, guys. So this EQ we go loud. I'm guessing 28 might be the same magic number here. Let's see. Oh, funny enough, that one wants a bit more. Maybe because it's the open side of the room. Okay. So this one was 50. So that is why level matching is important. So you can get all your subs at the same volume. Okay, so now I'm going to calibrate. So now I'm going to be quiet and I might cut this video off because this is the long and tedious part. Guys, I actually went through the whole calibration of you now to show you how it calibrates every single speaker. And I've never seen such a thorough calibration of subwoofers. It actually went through them a few times, switching between subs, getting the phase alignment and all of that perfect and the time alignment. Um, 
I think this is going to sound absolutely epic. As you can see, I'm getting excited now. So now I'm gonna cut away, guys. I need to do that eight more times. Another trick when you're doing calibrations, they always tell you on this little graph where you should put your microphone. And it shows them quite far away. But you'll see at the top, they'll tell you no more than 600 centimeters, uh, um, 60 centimeters or 600 millimeters apart. So the, this, the, the graph and what they're saying is contradictory, but what they're saying is correct. Don't calibrate your entire room. You'll always have a sweet spot. So only move it slightly away, slightly. Um, so the guys to the side, obviously they're gonna have a lesser experience than the guys to the middle, but it's very important. If you calibrate too far to the sides, you let these speakers, the levels go up too high. And then when you get to listening, you will hear that some speakers are playing louder than others. So focus to a central king position and then just go a little bit away as you're calibrating. So I'm going to cut away this now, do it eight more times and then I'm back to you guys. Okay guys, I am not going to lie. That was not an easy calibration. I had to redo it like three times just because of things happening and not having all the quietness I want, um, but it is done. Let's go have a look at what it did. Always keep in mind, the bigger your system, the longer the calibrations are gonna take. So I'd allow, allow at least an hour, hour or two to do it properly and have quietness. But let's have a look. Let's go into speakers, manual. Just wanna see what base, it still says LFP plus main, yes. Uh, come back to that later. Crossovers, I have my fronts. I have everything set as small. Fronts, I have 60 hertz, center 60 hertz, around 80, 120, 120. You can change those according to your speakers. I know my speakers um, and I know what I like. So I have those set up to that. Let's see what it did to the levels. Just up the volume. It still has a bit of a delay. I wish the delay would go away, maybe with later updates. must say the editor app is very good that is set up quickly to my ear as close as can be i will play around with some demos and see if i'll change some things let's just check the distances interesting how it sets up the subwoofers the subwoofers are always set about a meter further away for delay but it put it at about seven so that's interesting so it put about two meters delay on the subs we'll hear what that sounds like now okay all good um I think that's basically what we need to check before we jump into the demo. Okay, now we've been in there. Don't need to check amp assignment. I have mine set to 11. 11 points. It's funny, it says 11.1, .1, but it's 11.4. Okay. Okay, so let's get into this. As I did the calibration, as we went on, I could eventually actually hear how the subs sort of become one that you can't pick them up separately anymore, which was very cool. Guys, I'm quickly gonna grab my Blu-ray Blu remotes and run through some demos with you guys while we're watching. And um, let's see what this sounds like. Okay guys, let's go on a journey. I have my volume set 
at about minus 10. The system is calibrated for reference, but I've not heard this. So always to be safe, I just, I'm just conservative to start off with. Let's do the audio sphere and see what that sounds like. I've changed nothing on my calibration. This is the way that the app set it up. said very conservative sounds good but we can up the volume we can go to reference volume we will be safe okay let's do um, let's do a maze the four subwoofers if I can explain it to you um, it integrates it so seamlessly that if I did not see the four subs I would think it is one sub that's just covering the entire room it is it is flawlessly integrated the base is phenomenal it pressurizes this room and shakes the couch just enough to not shake everything to pieces and make you feel it um uh it's i don't know how to explain it's just it's it's bloody mind-blowing um and the editor app is so good i did add some secret sauce to where i want my cutoffs to be and um on curves but for, for level matching i did nothing different from the app it is very good let's quickly let's do horizon sometimes this can be a bit of a hectic one it does have some heavy scenes let's see what it sounds like Yo. right now you're listening to where cinematic audio has been Yo. because we are so used to hearing sound this way we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back to all the way in front, or 
arcs overhead. And there's anywhere in between. Today, you will feel every dimension. How does that sound? Ladies and gentlemen, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. I while I was calibrating, I worked out the cost of these subs. So they're twenty two nine nine zero. So let's call it twenty two thousand, twenty three thousand. So <laughs> for the price of one big sub, like a big SVS, you can have four of these, and I guarantee you, this will kick one big sub. This is a phenomenal setup. If I have to compare this to my big room, it is so close. But the kit in the big room is so much more advanced. Um, this is really phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to have some of the home nation guys. Alan, dude. Ha <laughs> ha. Come and listen to this. Let's do... I can't do any of these because they'll flag us. So we need to stick to... The demo material. Let's do the F1 Red Bull. Actually wanted to see what power my system is pulling if any of you guys can see there the house is pulling about the 1500 watts so this is actually running very conservatively um the new kit is not as power hungry on electricity as you would think um being in sa nowadays we're going all solar because the government's failed us so we need to check where all our electricity needs are let's do the encounter the encounter scene oh 747 takeoff That's very good. I want to do the abduction scene. Um, if you guys haven't heard this Dolby Atmos disc, this is the original one. And for me, it's still the best one. Um, there's this scene encounter where the aliens sort of abduct you and you get coming over your head and you hear it hitting down. Let's see if I can make it work on um, YouTube.
That's actually so freaky. It plays with my mind. Yo. That's a stellar experience. Okay, guys, I'm going to quickly look at some demos that I can't show on YouTube because they will flag us, like my Jurassic Park scene. I want to listen to music that they're going to flag us as well. So um, I played that for you guys. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Um, I will give you my final verdict after I've listened to some music now and some other demos. So see you in a bit. Guys, final conclusion to this system now with four subwoofers is holy. It is amazing what it's done. Um, the new Cinema 50 from Marantz, um, same with the 3800 from Denon. The way they did the four independent subwoofer out, goosebumps, guys, and you know my goosebump meter does not lie. It is, oh, man. Um, to explain it to you, watching movies, that old myth of bass not being directional, it's a myth. Um, now with the subs being in each corner and being calibrated for that, bass is directional. For instance, on that demo where the encounter comes down, the bass hits behind the couch. So it's like, <laughs> there. Dinosaur Jurassic Park. <laughs> Bass, it's directional, it's amazing. Um, switched over to music. <laughs> I found myself just upping and upping the bass. It envelops you, it's like, oof, oof. it's, wow, man, it's good, it's good. Um, went back to movies, um, listened to some stuff that I normally listen to. What did I watch? I watched Chang Chi, that scene in the bus, very, very good. And um, then I watched something else. Now I can't remember what I watched, but it's it's phenomenal. Um, and it's not like it's just huge bass with this projector shining in my face. Let me just blank out the screen quickly. So it's not just like it's it's insane amount of bass. Many people will think four subs, um, you're gonna have four times the bass. It's not that. This plays around with them in different sequences. They're not all playing the same bass note. This will play something that, and they'll all play different bass notes. And that is what makes it so good. The, the integration and the way it gels to become one complete system. Ah, it's so good guys, I can't get past it. Um, the nice thing is no one else has done this that I know of on YouTube. So this will be the first time you guys see it. If you ever thought about doing it, guys, do it. I know now you need to buy four subs, but you don't need, you don't need to go insane. You can go insane. I would love to hear what insane sounds like. But just four DN12s, they aren't super expensive. They aren't cheap either, but they aren't super expensive. They are, you can get there. You can just buy one, then two, then three, then four. I started with one, and then I just went straight to four. <laughs> but geez, guys, really, really worth the money spent. After this video, because it's Friday now, it is two o'clock. Guys have gone home. I'm going to sit here now. I'm going to pop in my Gran Turismo, play some games. I want to see what it's like on games. Can I feel the car? Can I feel the shifts? Um, all that stuff, the impacts of the crashes. And tonight I want to watch some movies. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal. Thank you again, big up to Hermation for helping me out on this journey. Guys, they are the um, importers of both of these brands, the Marantz and the DN12. If you guys want any of these products, and they're all phenomenal, contact me, contact your closest, closest dealer, hook them up. Um, insane and then guys if you appreciate the grind please help support us to do more videos like this like subscribe share this video as, to as many people as possible so they can get part of this hobby um, and see what it's all about I promise you as soon as this hobby bites you it's done um, can't say anymore I hope my emotions speak for themselves um, the tiredness is starting to catch me now from last night. I'm going to sit here and enjoy some stuff until I fall asleep. Until the next one, guys. Cheers.